Tar splattered all over cars after simply driving on I-77 in North Charlotte. You might remember our report when this mess first happened early last month. Our Joe Bruno, who's been covering the issues along I-77 for years, learned how drivers could get some help to pay for all this damage. And he joins us now live. Joe, the people are telling you that they are still trying to get this fixed. Hey, Erica, it's pretty frustrating. For basically two months, people have been driving around with tar on their cars, and they have no idea when this is going to be resolved. And it's not too bad, like, on the surface, uh, you know, looking at it, but it's underneath. Tim Fasano just finished practice for his Rage Against the Machine cover band and was on his way home on I-77 when he went through what looked like a puddle. I thought I went through water. My car was like... But it wasn't water, it was tar, resulting in more than $1,000 worth of damage to his car. This is an old friend. I've had it since I graduated high school in 99, and it was like seeing, like, you know, your grandmother, kind of like with a, with a bunch of scars on her. Like, how did that happen? If this story sounds familiar, it's because this didn't just happen to Fasano. Last month, I introduced you to Chow Don Everett. He found himself in the same sticky situation. NCDOT blamed it on a machine's tank erupting, spilling the substance on the interstate. Several people, including Everett and Fasano, drove through it before crews were able to block off the lane. After it happened, NCDOT told impacted drivers to file a claim. Everett did and got the outside of his car cleaned, but he's still waiting for the underside to be fixed. As for Fasano, he says he has gotten the runaround passed from Sugar Creek Construction to Liberty Mutual and then to Sedgwick with no end in sight. What I'm hoping for is that someone will take some accountability for whatever company and stop passing me around. Sedgwick tells me they are now escalating Fasano's claim to check on its status. The company building the toll lanes tells me that a total of 14 people were impacted by this. Back to you.